Almost everyone used to own a Raggedy Ann doll back in its heyday, along with a Raggedy Andy doll to match your set. Some of these dolls can even go for as much as 1,000 US dollars, and it appears that several different companies sold several different variations of these incredibly popular designs. In the case of two paranormal researchers and self-proclaimed demonologists, this Raggedy Ann doll held a very special place for them in a locked display case fitted and reinforced with a strong encasing metal. This is due to the fact that Raggedy Ann doll was recovered in a terrible haunting case of which they investigated many years ago. The doll was named Annabelle, and displayed impossible characteristics that led to its previous owners to suspect that it was cursed. It had the ability to move on its own, tap against objects, write terrifying messages, and even supposedly speak out at random times. The real Annabelle doll was given to a young girl named Donna. She was a student who was training as a nurse at the time. What's interesting about this story is that Annabelle was found in a second-hand store. The doll very quickly though started showing signs of a paranormal nature. It started off with small things such as movements in the night. However, this was brushed aside as the owner said it was wind, or her accidentally moving it. But this was not the case. The doll had a life of its own and it was not afraid to show it. Donna had a close friend named Lou, and it said that he was very nervous around the doll and felt as if it was watching him every time he went near it. Shortly afterwards the Warrens were called in and they were sure that Annabelle was possessed. They both decided it would be best if they took it back with them. While driving back home it's reported that Annabelle caused a crash, and the Warrens were sure that whatever was possessing the doll caused this on purpose. Even after getting the doll home she continued to show signs of possession. She would levitate above Ed's desk, and cause bad chest pains to people who were nearby. The doll is considered to be evil, and is now locked inside a glass case. This doll would later go on to inspire the Annabelle movie franchise, and is often at the centre of strange paranormal investigations. As of today, she is considered one of the most haunted dolls in the world. So my question to you guys is what do you make of this? And do you think objects can be possessed? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.